Welcome to the Morning Star Manager Checkup for updates on our latest fund research. The MFS Meridian Global Equity Fund is going through a changing of the guard, with veteran manager Roger de Mannheim retiring. This was clearly communicated to us a good while ago, and we believe co-manager Roger Morley has shown the qualities needed to apply one of the most sensible and repeatable processes around. He's backed up by Ryan McAllister, who as part of this change became a full-time co-manager back in March 2017. The process sticks to stock and industry research, patiently seeking companies that are reasonably priced and can grow sustainably. Within that, identifying competitive edges, such as proprietary products, pricing power, and management quality are key. This low turnover approach has seen long-term success, with huge assets of around $75 billion and is actually soft closed. Even so, the strategy deserves top billing given its all-round strengths and the ongoing presence of an excellent portfolio manager. Its high fees are a negative point for us, but the fund retains its Morningstar analyst rating of silver. The Leg Mason Royce US Small Cap Opportunity Fund is managed by Bill Hench and Buzz Zeno. In what is a specialised and volatile approach, the duo invest in unloved small caps that are going through rough patches. They look for four distinct types, of, distinct types of companies. Undervalued asset plays, turnaround stories, special situations such as firms coming out of bankruptcy, and busted IPOs. The portfolio tends to hold around 300 stocks, with nearly 60% in microcaps. It's deep value stocks with high volatility being par for the course. But overall, the manager's strict adherence to the discipline and talent for finding turnaround stories has made this fund a long-term winner. It therefore maintains its Morningstar analyst rating of bronze. Finally, fund manager Alex Crook brings a wealth of experience at the helm of Bankers Investment Trust. Having run it since 2003, Crook determines the asset allocation in concert with the board. He then draws upon the expertise of fellow managers at Janice Henderson to populate the various geographic sleeves with concentrated portfolios. The portfolio is 75% invested outside the UK, then when it comes to the UK, there's a small and mid-cap bias. Crick gives each manager a specific income target as dividend growth is an important feature here. He oversees this and makes sure the portfolio produces enough in the way of dividend income. The result being the trust has increased its payout for 50 consecutive years. When it comes to fees here, they're at the cheapest end of the peer group. Investors can be assured they're receiving high quality and active management here for a very competitive fee. With a number of positives as part of our qualitative assessment, the fund retains its Morningstar analyst rating of silver.